Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my humble and I mean really humble YouTube channel. This is To the Moon.、Uh, I know very little about this game. I know a few basic facts, like the game was、uh, came out in 2011. It was developed by an indie studio called Freebird Games. I know the game is very popular. I know it it, it, ha it has since achieved a ton of awards and has been praised. Almost、uh, widespread for its、uh, storytelling, which I'm very excited about.、Uh, I've also heard that it's very moving. Now I I have noticed the lack of an options option here, which is kind of ironic, but it, that's usually the standard. So I'm wondering why that is. But nevertheless,、uh, this game has been in my Steam library for. Several years now, and for one reason after another, I've never really got to it. Well, that ends today. Today, I'm going to just turn over a new page in my life. My days as to never having played to the moon is done. From this day on, I am a new man, and we shall begin this life-transforming journey. I guess. Okay, to the moon. What is it gonna be about? I I really don't know. There, I can't even speculate. So,、uh, as you can see, this is gonna be a completely blind playthrough.、Uh, I researched that this game is going to be like four to five hours, and I'm kind of a slow player, so to, for me, maybe it's five to six hours. I don't know. And. This may be released in several episodes, so I'm just going to. I welcome any comment to my videos, obviously, because they are the comment section of my videos are usually just bare.、Uh, but、uh, in this case, please take care not to spoil anything for me or any other gentlemen or ladies that they have come to this channel without prior knowledge to the stories.、So、please respect our lateness to the adventure. Well, I guess that. That's everything I gotta say beforehand. Obviously,、uh, welcome to the channel, welcome to this video, and、uh, please subscribe to the channel if you really like what I'm offering here. Let's begin. Oh, Kangao! I believe he's the lead designer of this game. He's also the music composer. That's cool. He's also the designer. What can this man do? Oh no! What is going on here? Okay, we have a Doctor Rosaline here. Where were you looking, Nail? I guess I gotta do a little bit of voice acting. Uh, we have Doctor, I guess Doctor Nail Watts. Well, excuse me, Princess, for heroically evading the squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. <laughs> oh no. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Wow, that's、uh, double danger here. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Yeah, probably. Hmm. We、we'll、just say I was saving the puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Well, let's just say we were evading a cat then. Fine. Whatever furball he fancies. Crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. The equipment. Oh, I'm in control here. Who am I controlling? I'm controlling both of them. That's swell. 
Uh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I received the equipment. Got the sucker. Let's roll. Don't just roll. I I want to expect the squirrel. Oh come on! I crushed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? Not crush the car and evade it? That's asking too much. Yeah, maybe a little bit. A smoking hot car. He did not just say that. Okay, I guess he didn't really say it. If he said it, he would get his ass kicked. Um, what else can we do here? I like these new adventures at the beginning of it. It's always so exciting. Why was household ahead? Putting up a sign when they live in the middle of nowhere is like asking to be robbed. Yeah, that's a good point. The sign to the house points to the other way. Oh, how kind of it to exist! But I want to explore. Hey, wait! Don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. Oh, yeah. Let's not forget the crashed car. How thoughtful of you. Hey, birdie. Uh, this studio also made a bird's tail, just uh, for anybody that's interested. Are we going up there? Oh, we're going up the stairs, of course. These two are doctors, and they are, I guess they're being summoned to a private house. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers, we don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Oh, we actually can do that? that that's kind of awful. Push it by hand, find a branch or a port mission, and go home? What if I choose number three? Like, that that's a little bit... Well, let's find a branch. <laughs> a branch will do. Well, there's a branch here. That's uh, the first weapon you'll get in, in Breath of the Wild, too. I guess grid games think alike. Receive the tree branch. Can we use the tree branch? Alright, this better work. Mm. What was that? I... I don't even... What happened? It's some kind of an air ball. Uh, right. We, we need to get going for now. Right. That's kind of weird. Somebody put an, an air balloon boulder? Speaking of boulders, you need to get Chris Redfield here. He's the expert for this kind of situation. What's with these trees? They're all cut off at like the exact same height. What's that about? So this has to be closer to his home, we're actually in a garden. It's well maintained and uh, actually kind of beautiful. Knock knock. Ma, they're here! Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. 
Oh really? Night shifts, love them or hate them? You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably gonna be another old nighter, you know? I know. And I doubt that I have any coffee. Why, why would they have coffee? Shut up! And the ocean waves still. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will. No, that was about to get violent. Don't forget equipment, moron! They keep referring to the equipment. I don't get paid enough for this. Why? How much are you paid? Because so far, you just crashed the car. They actually... You you don't deserve to get paid. Act 1. I never told anyone, but I'm, I've always thought they were lighthouses. What's they? We got the lily here. Uh, I'm assuming that's mom. Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosalina, I presume. Oh, like the music change. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Oh, sensitive. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. Okay. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. So... Those are caretaker's children, right? It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny's our man. Johnny? Uh, listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the one you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. Okay, it's gonna be an old man. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Okay, so if he has his doctor already... What are these two? Come on, grab the case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I will sue you with the insurance claim. Can you sue people with the insurance claim? Is that how it works? Got the equipment again. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Uh, I kind of want to explore. Forever, Johnny H. Wiles. Is that the same Johnny? What kind of a song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. Is it? Uh, I don't. Re I don't really read these musical charts very well. I have a guitar right here. I could probably play that if it's just two notes, but uh, it's way too late for me. Uh, what have we here? Some baguettes? I know I, I should be elsewhere, but the patient is waiting upstairs. Better not waste time. I guess we can't explore then. I, can't, I guess we can't go to the basement either. That's a shame. I want to explore the whole house. But I guess if you're on call for some kind of household service, it's rude to just ignore all of their requirements at first and just say, Oh, I want to explore the house. Go upstairs, I suppose. Okay, they're gone. Who's this? Whoever gets in there, uh, whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. Oh, the kids. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. Oh, I think that's the title music. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small meteorite. Yeah, yeah, come on. That's a 
nice music. I'm loving this already. The time is wait, give me again. Uh, sometime like eleven o'clock. Okay, we're here. Ready to set up? Uh, look around first. Always look around first. Gee, you know, I think I'd like to carry this excruciatingly heavy object around some more. Thanks for asking, though. <laughs> uh, a little bit meta. A selection of readings from medical journals. Can we go this way? We can! Oh, that's a little surprising. You can turn up and off the lamp. What about the bathtub? Why are we in here together? Can't do the business. Not right now. Okay, I guess hot, even hired help has to be able to use the bathroom. That's reasonable. Oh, oh, what does the doctor say? What's wrong with him? He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long he'll have, but I would hurry. Um, I'll look over him. Go ahead and set up. Okay, let's go set up. Yes, set the machine down. Yes, it'll just be a moment. What are we doing? And of course, he's also the writer. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oops. Oh, crap. Standard procedures, just keeping it on your toes. What are we doing? Is that holographic? How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say he's just got he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. Excuse me? So you two can grant him any wish, huh? Good try at least. And we always succeed because we are awesome. Okay. So, what's the wish? The moon. Ooh. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That I, I don't really know much. Johnny's an old Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Mayo is a sa sa sassy dude. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind, since he signed for you too. Hmm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Uh, who goes to search the house? Dr. Watts or Rosaline? Can I, can I have both? I like their exchanges. I kind of want... Uh, Watts or Rosaline? That's a tough choice. It, I wonder if it's all going to be the same. Is this just the choose your gender kind of thing? or? But they do have different personalities. You know what? I'm going to take Rosaline because Watts just crushed the squirrel. This is for his... For, uh, as a form of punishment, I'm choosing the other person. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy. Leaving a butt print on this chair. Right, do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. 
Okay. Assuming control here. He's unresponsive. Uh, he's hanging on. Same old. Uh, let's check the bookshelf. Oh, we already did that. It's uh, medical journals. I guess we didn't find anything new. I don't think we are going to find anything new. Tommy and Sarah. Yes, we need to find Tommy and Sarah. How do I get to this room? Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Okay. Here, take this. Receive the remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks, I was just going to ask for it. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. Oh god, that that's... Oh, here we are. Uh, is this like going to be... Are we on a timer of some sort? Because that puts a lot of pressure on my shoulder. In that case, I really need to stop doodling. Oh, paintings! A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. And what about this? A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. We have right here a painting of an animal of some sort. I, I was wondering what the hell. A castle painting of three people. So, what is this a Resident Evil puzzle? Do I gotta match the color of the paintings to some other things? Hey kids. Oh, I can examine the clock. The time is, uh, well, it's almost the same as before. Hey kids, what, what do you have for me? What you want? Show me around the house. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe? I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. Oh, 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 oh. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! I hate it. I hate these kids already. Um, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars! Wow, that's a pretty nice start. Or the candy came or the candy came mom hides from us. I think I'll give you the trillion dollars. Yeah or that? Huh? There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Mom put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us, and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well No, cut the crap in. Oh, really tempted, but I'll get it for you. My mother used to keep candies on high shelves too. All right, I'll go get it. The kitchen store is right next to the stairs. Now go, dude. Rude. Okay. Uh, the kitchen. Did did say it's next to the stairs, but the stairs down. Downstairs or upstairs? There's no need to go up there. No, if there's no need, then... Oh, I guess he missed this door. There's that candy can. There we go. Oh, we can't reach it either? Oh, this is humiliating. Oh, our life just ended. Let's turn on the light. Okay, that's really bright. Ever. Grab it. Now eat it. Terrible calories. Who cares? They're kids. They'll grow out of it. Do I have items? Candy can. Now eat it. Oh, so we have both these items. I'm gonna save. What else do we have here? Oh, 
Nope. Nothing else. Get down there. Get down there and open the damn door. Right. Okay, you little brats. Here's your rotten teeth. Okay, I got what you wanted. Good old candy cane. If you come and give me a tour at this instant, I won't sneeze on it. Oh, that did the trick. Okay, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like the funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. The study? Okay, uh, where is this study of his? What do we have here? Ha! Huh, that looks like a study. This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. That shelf? Uh, what's he writing here? Can we just read any of this? Okay, we can turn on all the lights. Oh! I almost stepped on the paint. I don't want to step on the paint. He, he's painting, he's writing and the painting. The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christ, Christian, Christian Andersen. Uh, let's read passage. And the colors! The colors of that beautiful fabric. I have never seen anything like it in my life. They all tried to conceal their disappointment at not being able to see the clothes. A child, however, who had no important role and could only see things as his eyes showed them to him, went up to the carriage. But he hasn't got anything on, the child said. Don't talk nonsense, his father reprimanded, but the boy's remark which has been heard by the bystanders was repeated over and over. You know, I don't think I've ever actually read it with my own eyes. That classic story has been told to me a million times when I was a kid, but I, I don't think I've ever actually read it. Isn't that weird? Uh, the Pilgrim's Guide to Origami, Volume 1, The Key to Avoiding Paper Cuts. Huh, speaking of origami, pretty excited for the new Paper Mario game. Let's read it. Uh, the, pilgrim the Pilgrim's Guide to Origami has already supplanted a great Wikipedia origami as the standard repository of all knowledge and wisdom about paper folding, for though it has many omissions and contains much that is uh, apocryphal, or at least wildly inaccurate, it scores over the older, more pedestrian work in two important respects. First, it is made of paper, and secondly, it provides numerous Band-Aids to make up for the inevitable paper cuts resulting from the reaching of this book. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, let's read more. For the grand origami master, it is absolutely essential for each origami to be completed in exactly 42 moves. In most origami tournaments, scissor cards are considered cheating, but uppercuts are deemed legal. Uppercuts. I like that. Okay, I... I enjoyed reading that, but what the hell? I don't find it. I don't see it. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Until one day I threw one back and he needed a band-aid. Hee <laughs> hee. Just a bunch of books in here. There's nothing I don't know about though. Oh really? You know about origami? You little shit. I wonder if Johnny has actually read all these books. Well, he's... I'm guessing he wrote the notes on that? Me and Sarah used to have book fights until one of us needed a bandit. Ma told us to stop, but we do it anyway. Well, they did say that this book could give them bandit. Oh, we got a new one. Dusk Light. The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Okay. I guess that's a little bit of uh, warm bodies uh, married, married with Twilight. Yeah, definitely read that. 
uh, maybe another year. Oh, room key. He chose his hiding spot well. <laughs> I don't know. I think this, uh, this is the same one. So he chose to like hide it in a YA novel instead of the origami book, which the kids probably use for uh, to, to to tear off papers. Do you make you make bandits? I guess that's the point. Uh, we can open the funny room in the basement now. Okay, uh, I wanna actually I wanna check out this direction. Oh, it's another bathroom. Turn on the store tap water. Why not? Well, I had absolutely no reason to do that. This is the basement! We play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Good idea. Well, how funny. Actually, why is this called the funny room? A uh, dusty pile of uh, animorphs books sit here. What is animorph? Morphing animals? Uh, or animation? I actually don't know what that word means. The chest is locked. Well, we don't have the key. We used to find all kinds of cool junks here. Moldy books, moldy buckets, moldy cheese, you name it. You didn't eat the moldy cheese, did you? Well, since you're alive, I'm assuming not. Sniff, sniff. What do you have to say, young lady? Once we were down here and the lights were out and Tommy fell down those stairs. He chipped the tooth, but that's okay because he's ugly to pick up with. <laughs> oh, poor Tommy. He's always the one that's getting hurt in these stories. What do we have here? The cabinet is filled with dusty books. I don't know, I want to read those dusty books. Nope. The cabinet is filled with unused to find china. Boxes filled with colorful, colored papers. How can you tell? They don't seem like they've been opened. The chest is unlocked. Oh, that's the key. That's what the key's for. The, the chest is locked. Chest. Oh, the chest is locked. So we have two chests to unlock now. That's curious. So let's go through that door. The door is locked. Open door with a room key. Oh. Oh, that's the funny room. It's like a cave in here. Uh, turn on the light. Whoa! What the shit? A rabbit folded out of paper. A stuffed toy plat platypus. What the shit? It looks adorable enough to annoy Nail. Might come in handy. Hmm. Poke it? Does it do anything? Sit it up. Okay. Okay. Let's take it. Receive the toy platypus. I, I have no idea if that's going to be useful. A broken music box. A rab rabbit folded out of paper. These are what are these? All rabbits? These are all paper rabbits? The guy had a whole book on origami and all he made were rabbits? I mean, I can't. I'm not disrespecting those mad skills though. I, I can't. You give me a piece of paper and ask me to fold up some bunnies out of it. I'd be like, no, no can do. Don't got the skills. Uh, this is just like a bit of overkill. Can we go through that? I mean, don't just don't step on them. A rabbit folded. Oh, wait, 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 what? A broken music box. That one too? What? There's, there's no music box over there. 
this is the broken music boss. I, I think the game is glitching out. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else in the room besides broken music boxes and uh, paper bunnies. Okay, kids, explain. Did you see it? What do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing! The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. Hmm. There's more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys! Why do you have the keys? You aren't supposed to go in there either, are you? <laughs> Remind me to never take you to Nail's house. So, you wanna go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... Decisions? What do you mean, stay and wait for the machine? No, we, can, we need every information we we need. Like, it's, we need every bit of information that can be obtained. Like, this is such a mystery, I'm so intrigued. You know what? Fine. Maybe it'll tell me more about those rabbits. Let's go check out that old lighthouse now. Speaking of which, uh, the the movie called The Lighthouse, starring Robert uh, Robert Pattinson and uh... ah, oh, god damn it! I'm blanking out the name of like the greatest actor ever lived, Willem Dafoe. That's a movie you should definitely check out. Not this room. So anything has changed here? Nope. It's called For River. And I, I can't help but wonder if River is like actually a person. Oh, the bird is following me? What the heck? So a uh, mic? Oh, there we go. There it is! We need to head south to the street and take the other path to get down to it, though. Yeah, I've got my parachute. You have a... How do these kids live to whatever age they are now? 